Hello everyone, it is Gretchen again, and we are back. Um, I have made extras um, of the, or more, not extras, but here is the green and the yellow that we made. And then I also made uh, red, orange, and purple. I'm gonna actually put all of these at the same time, five of them, through my my bigs die uh, or my big shot my uh, Sizzix big shot I'm gonna place them all over on the die along with the two cutting plates one on the top and one on the bottom um, or the yeah the cutting plates um, and I'm just going to put it through uh, I'm gonna start it there we go. Okay. You may hear some crackling. That's okay. It's just cutting through all of the paper. And it's done. And put this, take this out and put the big shot away. And then we will pull off the top cutting plate and lift off the papers very gently. Here's one that came out, isn't that great? That is so cool. Um, and then I will put these off to the side and put them away in just a moment. But uh, here, now these are the newer book pages. These are the old ones. Uh, I put them through off camera because I wanted to see what was going to you know, come out of these. And they actually turned out really, really pretty. Um, but I think, let's see, let's pull all these apart and see what we have. There's the orange and the red and, oh my goodness, these turned out really good. Really fun, really fun. Uh, you know, and I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to use, I'm going to uh, position these again um, on the die later to make, you know, to get all the color, to get all the color out and use as much as I can. Um, and I may use even the, the, you know, what I can't cut with the dies. I may put those, um, you know, torn pieces in to journals. Okay, so... You know, always save your scraps. Save your scraps. Um, I mean, I don't save everything, but I do save a lot. So, these are just... These are great. I love these. Um, and how... I mean, this is really cool. So, let's see. Let me grab my glue. I'm going to use some... Just yeah, good old Elmer's glue. And we're just gonna try some of these um, to see that's the same size. I may, you know, offset these so that there's red, green and yellow and then do a smaller one. No, let's do a red. Look at that. And purple look at that isn't that cool I mean these are these are fun little fun little things to do so I'm going to uh, I'm just gonna open my glue first I hope you can see this yeah oh that was my kitties deciding they wanted to get up on something if you heard that crash Okay, we're going to put some more glue in the middle. And finally, something like that. Now the gal that uh, did, if you saw the, um, the video before, um, I, I made mention to, of a gal D something. I can't remember, and I still can't remember what her name is. Um, 
she did some flowers or uploaded a video last night about doing some flowers and uh, she added some fabric and I could I with the big styes I can um, I can cut fabric so there's that and let's do a where's let's do a an orange center okay so that's kind of cute so let's start and you don't have to have all your font the same way that's the beauty of this take the next layer put a daub of glue right on top and finally the center so um, there are a couple of flowers let's see let's do a purple and purple and orange purple and orange really go good together they're uh, complementary colors okay and that one right in the center and let's do a red center like that how fun 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 i'm gonna do a couple more and put those off so let's try some of these and they you know what they don't even have to be all you know centered let's do a green center like that they don't have to be um, you know fully on center because flowers petals aren't on center 100% Let's see, so and then we'll put some more here. And the nice thing about these cool, cute little flowers is even though this one doesn't have a full yellow, it really, really worked out nicely. Okay, those are some pretty flowers. So let's try a green, a see what other colors we have orange let's try orange orange and a let's do another green one of these because these are the last of the green um, in this and purple a little bit of orange peeking out there I'll do this one a bigger, thicker one. More layers. And I think this, this one is done. I may put something in the middle of that one. But we'll do this one. The green. And then a yellow um, center to kind of make up for I think you can see that. I hope you can. Kind of cover up the... So, there we have, in less than 10 minutes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six flowers. And they aren't fully done, but um, the bases are done. And how fun is that? Um, just to have a kind of a mass cutting but if you want to do a let's see where did I put my papers here they are um, I will show you just briefly what she did and they're really kind of easy let's see um, let me get my get my scissors here I'm gonna cut off because she cut off
just where there was no no words, no text. Okay. And then she so she cut around like that and then what she did is she made a square. Okay. Or actually folded it to make a triangle and then made a square. This is super duper easy. Okay. So there's that one. And then she folded this and folded it again to make an itty bitty triangle. Now you have to make sure that you have the full fold on this side. These are the open sides and then this, the, the sides there. Now she did use a pen. Um, to, so you could see the things that she was cutting. So, so, you know, she would make something like that and then cut along that, that line, but also, you know, so you didn't see any of the, any of the black. And we'll kind of make it go even further. So that was the, that would be the first section. And then she had, you know, a paper like that. But, you know, what we're going to do is we are going to even make this even more dramatic by cutting it down even more so that we have a definite petal shape on each side. So that's how you can do it. If you don't have the Biggs dies, you can um, make petals that way. And we can actually add that. Let's add that to this one. So we have an even bigger, you know, more pronounced center. Okay. So there is that. And you can actually, when you get, when you get, before you, oh, this one's actually coming apart. Sorry. Uh, we kind of slid. But anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> um, I will try to um, go find the video and put a link in the, in the description bar so that you guys can go check it out. Um, and try your hand at hand cut flowers, or if you have a big sty. Um, you know, go make something today, have fun, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.